So to get into the anatomical position, you need to stand upright or supine erect. Your feet are going to come parallel to each other and your feet are facing forward. Hands come out to your sides and your forearms and your palms are supine, so facing up. Right, so let's go ahead and talk about our body planes here. So I'm going to go ahead and take my PVC pipe here and split my body in half, identical, okay? So this is my left half and my right half. This is called my satchel plane. What I like to remember are the two T's in the middle of satchel, known as twin T's, and you can think of twin sides, or two sides. Now let's go ahead and flip this PVC pipe and put it along my waist. So this is the transversal plane cutting my upper and lower halves in to two. Something I like to remember is transversal. Your upper half is going to make the letter T, while the lower half is making the letter V. Transversal. Then the last body plane we're gonna go ahead and talk about here is the frontal, also known as the coronal plane. So, you're gonna go ahead, turn to your side, the PVC pipe is splitting me right in half, so uh, anterior side and posterior side. Those are your body planes. So this is the midline of my body here. Taking my dumbbell, which is in a neutral position, I am doing a lateral movement, or think of your dumbbell as leaving your body. Coming back in to the midline is a medial movement. So think midline, middle, medial. So let's go ahead and talk about our hands. This is the palmar side, so think palmar, palm. And this is the dorsal side, so think D, diamond ring. So the top part of my foot here is called the dorsal side, while the bottom part of my foot is the plantar side. This is plantar flexion, this is dorsiflexion. So superior refers to anything above your head, up, and inferior, anything below. To remember this, I like to think cranial, crown, superior, up. Inferior is anything below that. So think infant, which is small and tiny, probably below your waist and below your head. Or caudal, like you're cradling a baby. Let's go ahead and reference this according to our body. So, this block on my hip is superior to my knee. Okay, another example is my tip of my finger is inferior to my wrist. Let's talk about distal and proximal. So let's take my hand with the lacrosse ball in it. My phalanges are distal or distant from my body. However, when I move this on my rotator cuff, that is in a closer proximity to my body. So proximal is close, distal is distant. So let's go ahead and talk about anterior, the front half of your body, and posterior, the back half of your body. So do you remember this when you're thinking anterior? Think, ah, ants on my feet, anterior. The next one is a little bit vulgar, but posterior, think posterior poop. So P for posterior, poop for posterior, ant for anterior. All right, so let's talk about the sagittal plane. On the left, I'm performing a bicep curl. On the right, a skull crusher. These are flexions and extensions between two body segments and increasing and decreasing in my angle. Similar here to the deadlift as well as the squat. And moving on to my trunk, it, this is a crunch here. We are moving in a forward motion and a backwards extension. For the frontal plane on the left, I'm doing a military press, a right, a lat pull down. This is an elevation and depression of my shoulder girdle. These are moving inferiorly and superiorly. Here we're doing an abduction and a Cossack squat. So again, moving away from the midline and towards the midline. And same thing here, going side to side in our oblique crunches. For our transversal plane, 
What we're doing here on that bench press and in our flies, we're keeping ourselves supinated, so palms are up, and we're doing a horizontal abduction and adduction on the bench and a medial rotation and lateral on the flies. Same thing here. A horizontal abduction and adduction is being performed. And now for the trunk, we're doing a Russian twist. For the Russian twist, we're doing medial and lateral rotations.